pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa mag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating alive program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS program at SPED tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes Mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Max. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, The Itulay is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulay will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our weekly habit on a Monday, 1 o'clock to 1.40 here on DepEd Itulay Online Tutorial for Science 7. Mag-isa po ako ngayon. I hope Tutor Roger will be okay so that he can join us next week. And um, this week is, is a full loaded week for all of us kasi maraming ganap for Science 7. So again, live po tayo ngayon on the different social media platforms of DepEd. That will be for, for 40 minutes. So we'll give you a minute to share all our live tutorial links this afternoon. So we are live on DepEd EdTech Unit Facebook page, DepEd Tayo Facebook page, and on YouTube channels of DepEd, official na social media platforms and DepEd. So we'll give you a minute. Please share to all your GCs sa mga kaklase, schoolmates ninyo, kabatch ninyo na grade 7, and to all their friends who may be needing the help for this lesson. Uh, this week, we will talk about different levels of organization in the ecosystem. So from the cell up to the biosphere. So we have 30 seconds more. Please do share. Make it public on your Facebook page wall and then share sa lahat ng mga GC, sa mga friends. I, I was informed last weekend of a chuti, Science 7 chuti na kahit hindi siya pinapansin ng ibang kaklase niya, share pa rin daw siya ng share. So do it. That's the spirit. 
Because our goal here is mas marami tayong maabot with our online tutorial. Even though we are learning from our different homes, you will be able to share this to as many people as you can with social media. So go ahead and share. So last week, uh, marami tayong gustong pasalamatan, no? as much as we wanted to thank all of you for your support. Uh, we cannot also do it because we have limited time on air. But we would like to recognize those active students in our online tutorial from week two. This is from week two, Chutis of the week. We have Chelsea Kate Villegas of grade seven, section accountability from Baruya High School, Division of Pampaga, Pampanga in Region 3. Ang kanyang Science 7 teacher ay si Ma'am Ann Aguinaldo at ang kanyang parents ay si Naruena and Rafael Villegas Jr. Thank you very much. And with that, we are giving you this virtual certificate. So it's for Chelsea Kate Villegas. Thank you very much. We also have... Marvin D. Kapulong, Grade 7, Section Faith of Makabebe High School, Division of Pampanga, that's still in Region 3. Ang kanyang Science 7 teacher ay si Sir Mark Lopez and ang supportive na parents and guardian, si na Ma'am Yolanda Kapulong and Marjorie Kapulong. Thank you very much for your active participation and we are giving you this virtual certificate. Thank you and congratulations, Marvin D. Kapulong. We also would like to recognize Kauri Hovita from Grade 7, Section Begonia of Francisco Bangoy National High School. That's from Davao City, Region 11. Ang kanyang Science 7 teacher ay si Sir Rogar Garcia. Sir Rogar, pagaling ka so we can have you back next week. Ang kanyang supportive parent or guardian is si Ma'am Jinali Nishiwaki. Congratulations, Kauri, and here is your virtual certificate. This is to recognize you of your outstanding participation during the week two of the online tutorial session. Lastly, we have Carobin Gabriel Villamore. Uh, sorry, di ko na yung section. That's my mis that's my mistake. That's from Nova Liches High School. I know Carobin was watching now. Pinakaunang audience natin kanina sa live. From Quezon City Division, that's in National Capital Region. Ang kanyang Science 7 teacher ay si Ma'am Louise Jane M. Cortesano. And ang parent niya, si Ma'am Mira Kirobin. Thank you so much sa inyong support. Ito mga sudyante ito are very active. I also reached out to other students. Kaya lang, uh, I think hindi nila nakita sa message siguro. So we're giving you a virtual certificate to recognize you of your active participation. Thank you very much. May mga siguro dalawa na, na message ko, tapos mahiya, na, mahiyain daw sila. But still, we're thankful for your active participation. Uh, there are more learners we wish to recognize. Hopefully, we can have you on the other sessions. We also would like to thank very active na mga schools like Diamantina High School, itong Alicia Vocational School, itong Baruya, Pampanga High School, ayan po, at uh, Francisco Bangoy National High School, mga sudyante ni Chuto Rogar. And uh, all learners from all over the Philippines, together with your parents who are watching right now, thank you very much. Dahil po sa inyong uh, cooperation, sa inyong participation, is we uh, that we were included so week one of quarter two, we were included in the top 25 most viewed episode. Ang sa amin nang po dito is hindi po yung reward. Wala po kaming reward dito. Ang amin lang is because of this, we know we are able to reach out to as many learners as we can. That's the power of sharing po. So share our live lessons now and uh, we'll be able to get to know more learners. And Sabi naman ni Renz Giver Calyanta, yes, third week. Actually, na, nag-try ako, and may problema yata ako sa, I don't know, siguro sa Facebook mess uh, settings, I know. I tried to reach out to some learners, pero I cannot send the message to you. And so, yeah, so that's one limitation. But thank you very much, and thank you sa continuous na uh, support ninyo sa, sa ating lesson. 
So for this week, it's already the third week of quarter two. We are going to talk about levels of biological organization. Whatever learnings you will have this afternoon or insights you want to share and have the world to read, you can use the hashtag Hashtag science tutor rogue gen or hashtag science itulai seven. We're able to read all posts using this hashtag. Kaya lang, uh, there are also again the same thing. There are settings na hindi ako makapag reply, no makapag comment, but we were able to see them. So, ginagawa ko na lang sa iba is to heart or to like the post. Yes, shout out kay Shane Gillian. Thank you again for staying here. And thank you, Ray, Sir Rainier de Jesus, for dropping by and for making our banner for the awards. So for this week, our reference material is quarter two, module three, levels of biological organization. This is a central office release module with a development team from region 12, that's uh, Soxargen region. Thank you very much for this material. So, ihanda na po ang inyong lapis, ball pen, and yung self-learning module because for this week, week three, we will have our most essential learning competency is for you to describe the different levels of biological organization that's from cell to biosphere. The code is indicated here. We are now on the second quarter third week for science seven and eto santa lucia shout out naman sa lahat ng students from santa lucia national high school you're also very consistent in our ito light tutorial so we'll have few reminders for you as we have our lesson number one Take the pretest prepared at the start of the module. Ang purpose ni pretest is to assess what you already, what you may know already about the lesson. That's actually in the prior knowledge. So there is no need to worry kung hindi ma perfect ang pretest ha. Number two, take time in reading and understanding the lesson. Follow the instructions carefully. Number three, use a clean sheet of paper for your answers in each activity or assessment. Number four, try to recall and connect the ideas that you had in the previous grade levels, even as far as uh, way back in your elementary, elementary years, you will still be needing those learnings in science to connect to our lesson. Number five, be honest. When doing the activities, record only what you have really observed. Iwasang tumingin sa answer key na hindi pa binabasa ang lesson. So, sagutin kung hanggang saan yung kaya mo and don't worry kung may mali. That's, that will only indicate what else you need to learn in the lesson. Okay. And then number six, don't hesitate to ask. If you need to clarify something, approach or contact your teacher. Number seven, take the post-test prepared at the end of the module. Huwag gayahin yung ginawa na ubang, ibang sojante na na-check ko. Uh, although I'm handling uh, senior high school din. May na-check ako na kinope yung sagot sa answer key na nakasulat pa doon. Answers may vary. O huwag ganun ha. Number eight, you can check your answers in the activities, self-assessments, and post-its. The reason why the answer keys are indicated in the self-learning modules is that for, for you to be able to know which item you got correctly or which item you still need to improve on. Because uh, self-learning modules, right? so even if you're at home, without the presence of the teacher, you're expected to learn. So, ang question natin ngayon is that, are you ready? If you're ready, oh, you can have your regular attendance now in the comment section. I'm seeing already names. So, mga active learners natin from Santa Lucia National High School, from Partida National High School, thank you very much for your consistent na support. From Alicia Vocational School, we have from LFG Diamantina National High School. And of course, we have also from F. Bangoy National High School. So keep on learning, students. Ayan, ready na daw sila. And if you're ready, let's have our pretest. Directions, read each question carefully. Choose the letter of your correct answer. In the comment section, if you haven't 
stated your name and school yet, you may indicate your name and school to be recognized. Pero kung na-indicate yun na earlier, well, we started the lesson, that's okay. I'll be able to see your names. Yes. Okay. Let's begin. Question number one. The heart pumps blood throughout the body. To which organ system does it belong to? A. Circulatory system. B. Digestive system. C. Excretory system. D. Nervous system. Which organ system does the heart belong to? Bilis ni Kerubin, ang sagot niya is letter A. Ang sagot ni Enrico is letter B. Hello, Ma'am Janet. <laughs> ang answer niya is letter A. Same with Renz, letter A. Okay. Uh, by the way, sige, while well, I'm waiting for your answers, last, siguro two sessions ago, a student asked if I can see, or if we can see kami daw ni Chuturoga, we can see comments in, sa, I mean, sa YouTube na channel. Actually, one of my devices here is also uh, viewing from in different platforms. Kaya lang, I have, I don't know what's wrong, but I have a problem seeing the comments sa YouTube. So I'm looking at the Facebook live comments now. So thank you for your answer and ang dami ng sagot. So answer for number one is letter A, circulatory system. Don't get the wrong notion that we're going to talk about the different organ systems. No, our focus is on the different levels of organization of which organ systems is one. Okay. Number two, which of the following organs is used for the transport of nutrients in plants. Number two, which of the following organs is used for the transport of nutrients in plants? A, artery, B, heart, C, kidney, or D, stem. Which of the following organs is used for the transport of nutrients in plants? Alin kaya dito sa apat? is being used by plants to transport nutrients from roots to the leaves. Pwede rin from leaves to the other parts of a plant. Answers. We have answers now in the comment section for number two. Okay, that's correct. Letter D, stem. Kasi si artery, heart, and kidney, these are not found in plants, but these are found in humans and in other animals. Correct? Si Rochelle Manuzon, si Sarah, si Andrea Cruz, correct. Congratulations. Number three, which of the following is not a level of biological organization? Which of the following is not a level of biological organization? A, organism. B, population. C, cell. D, abiotic. Which of the following is not a level of biological organization? A, organism. B, population. C, cell. D, abiotic. Sagot na si Christy Guaves. Ang answer niya is letter D. Correct answer for number three, letter D, abiotic. Choices A, B, and C are all included in the levels of biological organization, whereas abiotic is a component of an ecosystem. Number four. You have here two statements. Read the statements carefully. Number one, the first statement, veins are for circulation. Number two, stomach is for excretion. So the two statements, number one, veins are for circulation. Two, stomach is for excretion. For number four, letter A, statement one is true. Well, statement two is false. B, statement, uh, both statements one and two are true. Num uh, letter C, statement one is false. 
And two are, uh, yeah, again, letter B, both statements one and two are true. Letter C, statement one is false, while statement two is true. Paano, para nakatang twister na. Letter D, both statements one and two are false. We have answers now for number four. Correct answer here for number four is letter A. Para saan bang ex ang stomach? Correct si statement one. Veins are for circulation. While statement two is false. Stomach is for excretion. That is wrong or a false statement. Para saan pala si stomach? That is for digestion. So I hope nakapag-lunch kayo and para mas uh, ma-enjoy ninyo ang ating lesson this afternoon na uh, full ang ating uh, stomach. Last item. Read the statements carefully. One, tissues are made up of cells. Number two, organ system is made up of organs. Ba? One, tissues are made up of cells. Two, organ system is made up of organs. For those who are answering, a uh, little request, you can have the numbers indicated para we would know kung yung answer nyo for which item number. Letter A, statement 1 is true while statement 2 is false. Letter B, both statements 1 and 2 are true. Letter C, Statement 1 is false, while statement 2 is true. Letter D, both statements 1 and 2 are false. Sagot ni Enrico is letter C. Ang sagot ni Rochelle is letter B. Ashley Alaban answered letter C. Tingnan natin ang sagot. Letter B. Both statements 1 and 2 are true. So correct si Jeremiah Kagawan. Thank you also to Ashley for having the correct answer. And marami pang iba. Thank you for your answers. Let's have another exercise. You're looking at the photo here of a human torso model. So if you were able to attend or if you can recall your face-to-face uh, -face classes back in, uh, when was that, 2019? <laughs> Maybe you have seen this human torso model in the classroom or in the science laboratory. So we have here parts of the human body. Your goal, and I, I'm, I'm excited to see your answers here in the comment section. Name the parts of the human body that can be found in the photo. You can name as many as you can. Or you can even categorize them into organ systems. Example, integumentary system. And then you identify what parts. Uh, oh, congratulations. So may naka five over five. Good. So how about the what's in activity? Sige, I'm giving you time to answer. Say, okay lang yan, JM, Ashley, if you don't get it perfect. Diyosa, kay, paano ba tayo pronounce? Saiche. It's okay if you don't get this one correctly or if you don't get all the items correctly sa pre-test. We are still learning. Yan, sabi ni Enrico, na, tina, tama, ano ba to? Enrico, sabi niya, heart, lung, stomach, brain, and kidney. Good. Hello, Binlingan Lamsis Estrelita from Casibo National Agricultural School in Nueva Vizcaya. Yan, we have answers. Lungs, bones, intestine, heart. Now, is part of the circulatory system. That's correct. Heart, intestine, eyes, lungs, bones, um, liver. So, if we are going to start you now from, from top to bottom, we'll have here... Uh, so you have eyes, let me change. You have here the laser pointer. So tayo, you have eyes, no mention yung eyes kanina. Uh, may sumagot pa ng bones, correct? We have here heart, and pa yung sagot ninyo, stomach, and you have all these intestines. 
Das, ano pang sagot? We have, oh, ito. Si Roniel naka-enumerate. Sabi ni Roniel, you have liver. Yan, it's a liver. Heart. Esophagus. Ang check lang natin ang spelling ni esophagus. Ribs. My ribs. Pa. Intestine. Lungs. Pa. Brains. Correct. So, maraming organs ang nakikita nyo here. This is a human torso model. So, commonly we'll have uh, ganitong model in most public schools in laboratories. Yes, throat din daw. Ayan. And we have here breast. Ito ha, uh, I'm going to share to you, even sa senior high school, when they see human torso model among the learners, they would see, kasi may, may mukha ng lalaki dyan, di ba? And then they would comment na, Ay, na, may breast pa lang lalaki, ma'am. Oh, natural, yes. Only that it's not as uh, visible or not as enhanced as those of the female. Then we have also, of course, the reproductive system here, the external genitalia. If this is for a male. We also have human torso model na may female external genitalia. Of course, you have the brain, ayan, no, dyan sa taas, diba? Correct. So it's good that you can identify this. Uh, it's fun looking at your answers in the comment section. And it's good that you can identify these major organs. Wala pa, uh, I'm not sure if may sumagot ng skin. The skin is part of the integumentary system. So pa, kung wala pa yung skin, imagine we, were, we are all going to walk around the streets like this. <laughs> and okay. So... What's new? What else can you do? We have here a poem. In the learning module, there are two poems, but let's have one. This time, we'll have the plant figure. Kasi kanina, we have the human torso model. So we have here the plant figure. Here's a poem, and the guide questions are on the side. There are seven guide questions for you. Number one, you will be able to answer this guide questions after reading the poem. So we will be reading the poem together. Okay. Number one, guide question. So look at the answers for these questions from the poem on the right. Number one, do plants and animals reproduce? B, what is the reproductive organ of plant? Ang sabi na mention, identify kanina ni Adriel Siosson na penis is found in the human torso model shown. That's correct. How about in plants? What is the reproductive organ? Number three, what are the functions of flowers, leaves, and stems? Number four, what will happen if plant did not produce flowers? Number five, what will happen if roots are damaged? Number six, what makes up a plant? Number seven, do plants and animals have some organ systems? Okay, so these are the guide questions. Oh, may sumagot na ng yes. At least you have already started reading the poem. So we have here a plant figure. The poem is entitled Plant Figure. So if you're holding your phone now, you can read with me. I am a plant with different organs together. Even though not like animals, but I'm living, I'm a living thing as my organs respond. I have my stem like animals with their bones. I have my flowers like animals that reproduce. I have my leaves like animals that respire. I have my roots for a certain purpose. Flowers, leaves, and stems are my important organs. They carry the food to nourish me. If one of them can't work just fine, surely I will die anytime. Roots are one important shoot for absorption and for support. When this will be injured, I will be weak to stand tall. I am an organism, but not like animals. I have organs made up of tissues. I have tissues made up of tiny cells that simply make the real me. May sumagot na for number one. Yes, daw sabi ni Rionet Soriano from LFG Diamantina National High School. For number one, do plants and animals reproduce? Answer is yes. 
plants and animals reproduce even though they have different organs involved. My answer na rin for number two, si Krisha answered flower. Joanelg answered flower. Si Roniel also answered flower. Correct. So flowers are reproductive organs of the plant. They're beautiful in order for them to cap to capture the attention of bees and other insects to aid in the reproduction. Number three, what are the functions of flowers, leaves, and stems? According to the and according to the poem, they help in food production or providing nourishment for the plant. How about number four? What will happen if plant did not produce flowers? I can't imagine a world without flowers. Yes, that's okay, Chuterogar. Get well soonest. We miss you today. We will not be missing you next Monday. So you will be very active. Uh, sabi ni Rochelle Manuzon, Wala nang beautiful view. It will not reproduce. The plants will not be able to reproduce. Most of the plants will not reproduce without flowers. But don't get me wrong, huh? there are plants which do not bear flowers but can reproduce in other means. Only that from this poem. What will happen if fruits are, are damaged? So the answer, yeah, plants will die or you may say, it will be weak. Oh, bago pa siya mamatay, it will become weak first and eventually it will die. And we don't want plants to die. They make the world a better place. Number five or number six, what makes up a plant? There are various organs involved. Uh, plants will die. It will become weak. Yes. So the different organs that make up a plant are involved in making the plant as healthy as possible in order for it to contribute to our ecosystem. Number six, or number seven, do plants and animals have the same organ systems? Do they have the same organ system? Actually, may sumagot na kanina ng items 1, 2, to 7. That's nice. Okay, let's wait for... Yan, sabi ni Enrico, no. Capital N-O, no. <laughs> Rochelle said, no. Yes, Shane and Hannah, I got your answers. No, also. They don't have the same organ systems. But both are capable of reproducing. Thank you, Krisha, for your answer. So for this uh, week, our focus is on the levels of biological organization. Prepare your pen as we have this illustration of, or nakaaro na yan, an order or in a sequence on the le different levels of biological organization. We start with the simplest, which is the cell or the basic unit of life. You know, before uh, we actually have the cell, we still have organelles. And maybe you've learned already parts of the cell. So you have the organelles inside the cell. What makes up a cell? We have organelles and other macromolecules. So the cell is the basic unit of life. Examples natin for cell, we have plant cell and animal cell or other ways of identifying or classifying cells could be in their specialization or it could also be in their location. Groups of cells that work together to perform a task for an organism is what we call a tissue. Again, these are cells. Uh, tissue is made up of cells that work together to do a task. So in the second bullet, you will see examples. Ba vascular tissue is found in plants. So we have for vascular tissue, xylem and phloem, which aid in uh, transporting nutrients up and down the, pot, the plants. Epithelial tissue is found in animals. 
And then for organ system or organs, we have system of tissues that work together. So we have cell and then tissue and groups of tissues that perform the same function. We have an organ. And you have identified many organs earlier in the diagram or your picture ng human torso model. So kung sa plants, we have the leaves, we have also the stem. Okay. Sa tao or for animals, we have the skin, for instance. Yeah. So we have this sample na organs. You have already identified other organs earlier. So it's good to recall or yeah, I think elementary pa, you were, a, you were already taught of those basic organs. So from organs, we have organ system. It's a group of organs that work together. Examples here, we have here shoot system that's in a plant. Uh, sige, kasi wala akong sample plant. Hindi ako nakabit-bit ng plant dito sa kwarto. So if this stand, cell phone stand, is the sample of a plant, there are two systems involved. So upper part, that's the shoot system. And lower part, where you see the roots, that's root system. So two systems here for plants. Ha? Sample na natin to. Upper part, that's the shoot system, where you see the stem and the leaves, the fruits and the flowers. Baba, you have the root system. So uh, ang structure in the plant is not as complex no, as the animals. We have so many organ systems. So one example for, for animals, you have digestive system. Our mouth, that's part of the digestive system. Our teeth, tongue, and then going inside. You mentioned kanina, esophagus, and then your stomach, your intestines. And those are all part of the digestive system. So all those systems that work together create the organism. When you say an organism, it's a recognizable, self-contained individual. So ako, I am an example of organ an organism. You are an example of an organism. Grass is an example. Bacteria, singular bacterium, plural bacteria. Then we have human beings, plants, insects, kahit yung ipis na um, ayaw nating makita na dumadapo sa pagkain, that's still an example of an organism. They have life. Now, even though we don't want them there, we still have to protect also their right to live. <laughs> nah. Sige. Uh, other examples, of course, if you have your pets, your cats, dogs, they are all organisms. Population now is a group of multiple organisms of the same species within a specific area. So to understand more, think of where you live. Let's say sa inyong barangay. And if you want to count how many, uh, how many dogs are in your barangay, then you're counting the population of dogs. Even though you're, uh, if you count, if your neighbor has a dog that's of a different breed and sa inyo naman is also different, like say may chihuahua kayo, ang isa is aspin, if you're going to count the population, that's still a population of dogs. Okay. So we refer to a population as a group of multiple organisms of the same species within a specific area. Okay. Another sample here is population of mangroves. May iba-ibang klase ng bakawan, but if you're going to count them all in that specific area, then you're counting the population. It could also be population of cats. There are different kinds of them, but you're counting them all as cats. So that's population. Pag tao naman, uh, let's say in your city, you're going to count all the people in your city, then that's an example of a population. So it's a group of multiple organisms of the same species within a specific area. And we have last set of our levels. Again, we have, let's review. We have a cell, tissue, organ, organ system, 
organism, population. Now we have community. Okay, a community is a composed of different species within a certain area. So you go back to where you live. If you're going to count the population of cats and the population of dogs and the population of birds, population of grasses and all the flowers in your area, plus the population of human beings, then you are counting it all as a community. But one simple picture of a one simple picture of a uh, community is life within a pond or a fish pond for that case. Then you have the ecosystem. An ecosystem is uh, an ecosystem is made up of all communities in an area. It's an, an aquatic ecosystem, desert or forest. So for an ecosystem, we have samples, no? uh, terrestrial, or it could also be aquatic. And last level is the biosphere. This refers to all of the ecosystems on Earth added together, and it includes the parts of the Earth where life exists. Yes, hello to uh, our learners from Lanao National High School in Kidapawan City. Yeah. So we have again, we recall, cell, tissue, we have the, balikan natin ha, we have cell, tissue, organ, and then we have organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. Okay. So, what else can you do, learners? Our, our experience now with the pandemic has affected everyone. So, you can make a poster or a slogan how we can protect ourselves from COVID-19 with special emphasis on taking care of the various organ, various body organs. So your work will be graded based on uh, drawing technique, understanding of concepts, craftsmanship, and creativity. You may share your outputs on social media and use the hashtags, hashtag science e 7 hashtag science tutor gen. Yeah, so can use these hashtags if you want to show the world what slogan or poster you have made to show how we can protect ourselves from COVID-19. Special emphasis on taking care of the various body organs. It's now time for our post test. Still in the form of a multiple choice, the directions are for you to read each question carefully, choose the letter of the correct answer, and use a separate sheet of paper for your answers. Number one, what do you call a group of individuals belonging to the same species and living in a particular area? Again, what do you call a group of individuals belonging to the same species species and living in a particular area a organism b community c population or d ecosystem what do you think is the answer here group of individuals uh, sabi ni samantha hello samantha blasi the number one is letter b hmm. Answer ni Roniel is letter C. So, group of individuals belonging to the same species and living in a particular area. Population. Answer. Number two. Which is the correct sequence of the levels of biological organization? Um, give you time to uh, focus on the choices. Mahaba yan. So, which 
shows the correct sequence of the levels of biological organization. A, cell, then tissue, organ, organ system, organism. B, cell, organ system, organ, tissue, then organism. Letter C, cell, organ, tissue, organ system, organism. Or letter D, cell, organ, organ system, organism, tissue, which shows the correct sequence of the levels of biological organization. May sagot na tayo. We have from Caribbean, Mom Janet, from Ashley, from Kari. Answer for number two is letter A. We start with the cell, tissue, organ, organ system, and the organism. If you go next to that, of course, we have other levels involved beyond the organism. Last item for our post-test. Smoking causes disease that affects our respiratory system. How can we make ourselves free from the negative effects of cigarette smoking? Number one, keep away from persons who are smoking. Number two, smell all the smoke coming from the cigarette. Number three, make an advocacy showing negative effects of smoking. Choices, letter A, one and two only. B, one and three only. Number C, two and three only. Number, uh, letter D, option D, one, two, and three. Answer ni Shane is letter B, one and three only. Let's see. Number three, letter B, one and three only. Do not include choice number two. It's not good to smell the smoke. No, it's a second degree smoking, secondhand smoking. So we can make ourselves free from negative effects of cigarette smoking by keeping away from the persons who are smoking or can make an advocacy showing the negative effects of smoking. So there are cities, or actually, uh, yan binabawal na yung smoking in public places. No? May mga designated smoking areas na. But as much as possible, don't try. Please don't try smoking. So thank you very much. That's the end of our post-test. And we'll leave you with a science quote. One of the deep, deepest functions of a living organism is to look ahead, to produce future. It's from Francois Jacob. Our purpose tayo as living organisms is to make the world a better place to live, making it more sustainable. So we, as much as possible, we do not destroy our fellow organisms we do not destroy the environment and we think of a better future that's our very purpose as organisms so thank you very much and whatever insights you have or learnings your outputs you can use the hashtags science itulay 7 or hashtag science tutorogen we will see them and we will be happy to read them your answers, your insights, and your outputs. Thank you very much, and make it the habit again every Monday. We'll see you again Monday next week. Now, that's 1 to 1.40 p.m. For any comments or suggestions, you can email us in this email address, or you can scan the code shown here on the screen and leave us your feedback or comments. Up next, we have Tutor Z and Tutor Marky for Science 8. Thank you so much, learners. And if you have classmates who were not able to join us in the live sessions now, you can still share this link for them to view the lesson at a later time. Thank you very much. And we'll see each other virtually next week. Bye. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up.
Huwag aalis ha, dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!